Resilience. I'm not even sure I know what that means, to be honest with you. Sounds like similar to resonance. <laughs> I don't know. I would say it means a sort of bouncing back from a negative position to something good. Like bamboo like blows you and you just like bend and come back up. It's the ability to challenge, I would say. Having like enough inner strength to like face like everything that like the world is going to throw at you. Resisting the temptation to quit. Being able to get through really tough times, I'd say. School's a good example of that. The ability to adjust to a changing environment. Being able to stand up and handle situations even when they're really tough. Persevere in the face of adversity, I guess. Keep on going. Am I way off? How would I define resilience? Well, I guess the the, the usual answer is um, good outcomes in spite of adversity. Resiliency is, is essentially overcoming the odds or in the face of high risk succeeding. When the language of risk and resiliency first got started, uh, this is maybe 25 or 30 years ago, um, the idea was that there were some people who were simply resilient. They were made of tough stuff. And uh, maybe we should all be made of such tough stuff. And um, if you weren't, then somehow it was your own damn fault. There's complexity in defining resiliency. And the one thing I do want to say is um, early on in um, the science of resiliency, they I identified, they didn't use the term resiliency, they actually called invulnerability. And uh, the, idea, the notion of invulnerability almost meant like you were like a steel doll. If the plastic kids were bashed by negative circumstances, they would be dented beyond all recognition. Whereas those stainless steel kids uh, would just brush off adversity. They actually realized it was a misnomer because these children aren't invulnerable. Um, they're, they appear to be functioning well, but you know it could be they're doing well right at that moment, but in a year, it finally catches up to them. For example, uh, children who have experienced death of, of a parent at a young age, they might at five or six be doing quite well, but when they hit adolescence and there's new cognitive changes about a new searching for who am I, who might I have been if my parents had lived? And so they again might grieve in a different way. So the notion of resiliency, we just have to get away from this idea that an individual is resilient. I think it uh, is, a, is an inherently dangerous framework of understanding. The rhetoric of risk and resilience becomes a kind of who's got the right stuff versus who doesn't. And we have to be really careful about sort of saying this is the cause of resilience and this will lead to resilience because, again, resilience um, is, it, it is, a, is a difficult concept to actually nail down. So it's always an interaction. It's always complex. There's no simple answers.